there are some really great benefits about being in sales, and that is bringing genuine value to your customer. Welcome back. I've got John Dugan with me again. Welcome back, John. Thanks very much, John. We've had discussions about sales as a career, uh, and I know you you spent a lot of time early in your career coaching, developing young graduates in sales. Spot on. Tell me, why is sales a good career for people? Sales isn't a good career for young people, John. Sales is a great career, <laughs> great for, uh, career. Okay. for young people. I think the exposure that they get to general business, and, uh, and let me be as ambiguous as that, is fantastic. You know, they get opportunities to work alongside marketing, operations. They get an opportunity to be the front line of an organization early on. And, That's it, fantastic. and exposed to customers uh, right in the guts of what the customers are trying to achieve, understanding the issues and challenges their customers have. Well, it, isn't that the piece we, we still enjoy? You know, I, I'm 10 years down the line, and the idea of having every day being a different day, having to have that level of agility. You know, you call me the intrepid sales detective. That's basically because of my desire and passion for the investigative skills that I have to use when I speak to the customers. Those are things that should excite young people when they think about sales careers, not the stigma that's attached, especially in this country, with the idea of getting involved, being a used car salesman or being the wolf of Wall Street, whatever it happens to be. There are some really great benefits about being in sales, and that is bringing genuine value to your customers. It's a very noble career when you focus on it, and particularly focus on the customer, creating value for the customer, and that's what you're all about then it is a noble career. Well, we spoke about it before, John. It is a profession. And not only that, when you get involved in sales, you are training every single day to hone the skills that are required to actually be consultative, to actually be an investigator, and to actually have conversations with your customers where they reveal things to you that may display that they are in either trouble or they're growing and maybe aren't able to control that growth. It's really exciting and rewarding, isn't it? I seem to be getting very excited about it, John, so this, that's good. <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell me a little bit about what you think a young person's, what sort of characteristics do they need to have? What sort of competencies and capabilities do they need to have if, if they want to move into a, a sales career? Yeah, and there, there are competencies that you would say inherently fall well in a sales career. I like to list the first one as confidence. And John, I don't mean brash confidence. I don't mean arrogance. I don't mean anything in that way. Yeah, because I think introverts probably are a better salesperson in a lot of cases than extroverts. Oh, on occasion, introverts, because of their incredible level of self awareness, are very good and very trustworthy when they're sat in front of clients. Not only that, they can actually take all the energy that a client gives from an extroverted point of view and you know use that internally and communicate it effectively, articulately. Yeah about what they, they want to solve. They great listeners, which is a primary skill in sales, right? Something I can improve with, John, it seems. <laughs> and what other characteristics? Yeah, so again, you know, the, don't get me wrong, they still have to be driven. There is, you know, the idea that SEALs is very much a contact sport. I know that there are lots of mediums and communication methods that are replacing that somewhat. Social, of course, we've talked about already, mm -hmm. huge component of it. But to be driven towards achieving an objective, a goal, is still very important. That's, that's really interesting. I think a lot of the young people get a lot of value out of that, John. You know, personally, I think it's a brilliant career. I've spent 30, 35, 40 years in it now. Uh, sales, sales ma uh, management, sales leadership. And I've got to say, I've loved it. My job's changed every year or two over those 40 years. And, and I've seen a lot of my other colleagues that went into a professional role, be it a doctor, be it a marketing guy or yeah, whatever, yeah. and they stay there their whole career. Oh, of course. And, and, the, and the change and the excitement in sales is just wonderful. It is indeed. Thank you very much for your insight, John. No, Appreciate thank you, John.